the current problem is that men aren't really talking about their fertility. There's an assumption, I think, that fertility problems only affect women, even though there is a male factor in up to about 50% of cases. Men are very bad about talking about their health and about infertility because they can't really differentiate it from their masculinity, um, and it's an even more taboo subject, therefore. If you look at the kinds of stories that you see in magazines that women read, they tend to be a lot more health-focused, whereas men's magazines tend to talk about sport and supermodels, gadgets and fast cars and that sort of thing. We can offer patients operations to try and retrieve sperm, even in men who have no sperm in the ejaculate. So it's really important that they talk about it, that they seek help, and um, that will increase their chances of being a father. I think men need to talk about their fertility because they're definitely missing out on opportunities to improve their sperm count through healthier lifestyles, for instance, which can improve their chances of natural conception. So I think some of them are missing out on being fathers. There are new treatments which are available um, all the time, um, not just treatments to try and retrieve sperm, but treatments which might help patients to conceive naturally. The first thing for men to do is to talk to their GP. Their GP can organise tests to find out if there is a problem on the male side, and initially that will probably be um, a semen analysis, which is a straightforward test to do. The test will then highlight if there are any problems in the first instance, and if there are, then men should ask to be referred on to a specialist who looks after male fertility problems. Um, men can also go um, for more information about male infertility to the Bourne Hall website, bourne-hall-clinic.co.uk, where they can learn more about fertility issues and also about um, treatments available. Couples can um, go to um, some of the fertility awareness events which Bourne Hall organises. That's on the event page on the Bourne Hall website. And the next event is actually taking place in Bury St Edmunds at the Best Western Priory Hotel on the 28th of June at 2 p.m.